Oh, we should do um, introductions. Yeah, do it fast. Uh, my name is Pendleton Ward. I am the creator of Adventure Time. Uh, I'm Adam Mudo. I was a storyboard artist on the first season. I'm Pat McHale. I was the creative director. I'm Derek Dryman. I was the executive producer. The first Stephen, season. Do you have a girlfriend? Oh my gosh, I can't believe you just said that. I drew that. <laughs> I drew that punch bowl. Derek drew that. I drew that other one. That guy shaking his hands. The close up. That's Steve Bradley Baker. That voice changed a lot. No, D. I said D. Right? I thought you said Steve. No, D. Bradley Baker. I heard both at the same time. <laughs> Watch where you're Tim going. Rollins as the cookie. Is that all he did? For this episode. Yeah. <laughs> we brought him back for her parents. Yeah, later he was Rainicorn's dad. Oh, yeah? Oh, that's good. Yeah, it was funny. Did he speak huh? in gibberish or did he speak in English? No, he spoke in English. Yeah, they had translators. Yeah, they had a translator around his neck. Oh, good. Hero. Hmm. Hero. Hey, I just thought of something. Uh, what'd you think of? I'll show you. Come on. Derek we'll made me <laughs> make this a secret entrance with like a little. Uh, did I? I did. Did I? Why did I make you do that? Because it's cool. That's a good idea. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think before they just went I didn't in. I think I had any cool ideas. I thought all my ideas. Look. Hurry, you wanted to take that. I remember at the no way. at the mix, you were really particular about the sound of that brick, like as it came out. Magical glow. I like scraping stone sounds for sure. Mm. Brick, Go. brick on brick. Went back and forth on that brick stone sound. <laughs> yeah, I see it. It's called the Enkai uh, We used to have a longer sequence here where like Princess Bubblegum is um, drinking tea, and I think Peppermint Butler comes in and like serves them tea and stuff, and she goes up to this painting of, of uh, Manish Man, and like, got the goods or, like, like talking about it, and she goes through the history of heroes and who. And we see like all the ancient heroes look, looking down from the clouds in this like sequence. And it was just like, we don't need any of that. So we cut it out. I remember that. I remember it was cool. I remember seeing all the heroes leaning over from the clouds. Bye, uh, princess! You know what time it is, Yeah, that was like a minute maybe that we cut out. Yeah, man! Greetings, young heroes to be. This mountain is called Cragdor. Its purpose is twofold: to protect the Enkai Ridian and to test the hearts of those who seek to possess it. Many noble <laughs> <laughs> I always thought that was an F on his head. It took me so long to realize it's a key. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, John Machida Jr. That's the, the, the money machine guy, right? Micro machines, yeah. You wrote the dialogue for this, right, Pat? Maybe, yeah. Or no, I don't know. I don't know. It looked like Pat's handwriting. Oh, and Andy did. Andy did all this like funny acting, right, with the animatic. Yeah. <laughs> this. <laughs> Those are your drinks with the little chicken, chicken dance. Brilliantly done, child. I remember when Penn pitched this. He actually pitched That's the it. best one right there where they slide. That, I yeah, like that was stuff in that lock. You pitched this faster than he ended up delivering it. Most people I remember. I was a little unsatisfied with how not extremely micro machine style fast it was. There are many trials ahead of you, and each trial is more treacherous than the last. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so unnecessary. It's kind of distracting. That way. What? Dude, you can't smell the book from here. I was going to tell you, was gonna tell you all the story of the creation of Manish Man. Because it started as uh, a character <clears throat> that my friend Justin Hunt created for a, for a MUD, multi-user dungeon, text-based role-playing game. Did you get brain damage? So you stole it. Yeah, stole that name. We asked him. Oh, really? He was like, yeah, for the fame of Manish Man. <laughs> the Manish Man has been back now we can destroy this zero times <laughs> since this episode. <laughs> what? Every time you say what, we'll destroy an old lady. Bubblegum's what? got kind of a crush on Manish Man. <laughs> Every time you say no, uh, we made a big no, cut what? in the middle of this episode. Um, no, don't destroy 
Because this episode used to be twice as long. Uh, this was the first episode that uh, Pat, Adam, and I uh, put together, and and um, we o overdid it. We were a little. Yeah. The, the, the Choose Goose used to be somewhere around here when they when they first come in. Hey, back um, off, you gnomes! That to, kid just saved you guys. Mountain. You should think. Uh, the Choose Goose would offer them some juice. Ladies. Do you even know what uh, I'm talking about? It was, it was about? like not a riddle, Say but it seemed you. like a riddle. He was just offering Say them juice, and we, we spent like hours and hours figuring Kill out like the perfect. It. Hilarious rhymes Whoa. for Shizuku to say. Get back yeah, Pat and I talked intensely for six hours, plotting out this choose goose joke where he's just swapping juice around like a, like a what do you call the guys in oh, three card Monty? Three card Monty. Um, and he's like, try a juice. You cannot lose. Bad rhymes. Uh, uh, and he just wants him to try Juice, and Finn and Jake are really suspicious of him. Anyway, uh, Juice Goose, he's Illusions? come back a lot. But anyway, this is where, yeah, this is where he started. Um, but we cut him out for time. Uh, we cut out a bunch of trials. They find a bat who has a gnome in his foot. No way. Um, this place is. And they were gonna like ride the bat around. Yeah, the, there's like this. The, None of this is real. The, it's um, all just trials to test your heroic attributes. Uh, the curtains? Mm. Do, you, do you remember that? There was a trial now in the middle of the forest where they, yeah, they a, a little red velvet know, curtain uh, uh -huh. revealed um, one of the candy Jake! girls, the little, the little gumdrop girls who was like uh, making a pass at Finn and then he was freaked no, out by it okay, and she Finn. ended up being a, uh, a little a little wizard who like had a humpback and he was really creepy and he was like, yeah. And that was a trial. For some reason, Finn had to pass it. Yeah. There was a whole series of skeletons. Uh, well, I think that right after that, that's when he jumped on the bat's back and chose to skip the rest of the trials. Finally yeah, yeah. Fell into my yeah, there's supposedly stomach. more trials, but they skip it. Fly to the top. This is it. This is how we made the edit. We just had Finn steal this guy's wallet and use the dollar to glide up the mountain past all the trials that we plugged in. But he used, he used to ride the bat. Him already. Right, yeah. He used to go through 12 trials and then help a bat and befriend this bat and ride to the top. And cool. Yeah, there, there was a scene where you could hear the bat. Yeah, he was like telepathically speaking, Jake. trying to express his joy. That okay. Finn helped him, but you, are you weird. can actually understand him. <laughs> <laughs> we lost that. I thought that was cute. Yeah! Dude, you just flew us all the way to the top. Wait a minute. I can smell the book right through this door. <laughs> You're under arrest for stealing my dollar! <laughs> Just a minute, Jake. <laughs> you know what that was? That was righteous. Thanks, Jake. Now sniff out that book for me. You got it. <laughs> Whoa! Congratulations, Finn the Human. You must be truly righteous to have made it this far. Thank you. Now, enter my... This scene used to be a lot faster. I think he just and ran up to him and kicked him right away. Aspect of yourself. Yeah, you know, I think... I think I'm ever asking you to do... Make this more of a thing. Where? And then you came back with the ant. For Stuff. Your final okay. trial. Derek. Slay the beast. Why? Is it an evil beast? Yes. Yeah, I guess because we cut the other stuff out, and then this seemed like you, you needed more. It? This Shoot, needed to be yeah. a bigger, anything that's evil. bigger thing. I can't that's remember my now. deal. That's cool. Cool. <laughs> I that heart guy, because I was. Yes. I was in Mexico. You've done. <laughs> What? And there were. I don't, do you know what those are called? Those women that oh, have the, like hearts on their chest? Oh, the sacred heart. Uh -huh. yeah. I was drawing that stuff and I drew it in here. Slay this ant! Is it evil? No! <laughs> I always like that little touch. Not good either. It's a. Uh, no this ant poop at one point. Slay it? No! If you I want remember the poop. heroes and Kyridian, I remember seeing a stand. Wasn't there like a. just a, a dot next to it? Yeah. For a long time, but I don't think. <laughs> You never saw it poop, but like that was <laughs> that was the conversation. That's poop. This kick in the nads joke was holdover from when Pat and I were at CalArts. We had this joke for like in our heads for three years. I don't know. I'm sorry. Was it our joke or was it my joke? I can't remember. 
Uh, well, was it for the, the, the Minotaur film? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we worked on that together. Yeah. You made it! And this, yeah, this Minotaur. Yeah. There was like a whole Manish Man short you guys made. Right? A Cal Arts that we never finished. It didn't get finished. I still have the animation in, in a box for next week. We should oh. finish it. <laughs> can you shoot it and we can put it on the, like have it like pop up on the screen? Right now. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, this is Penn. Maybe. This is Pat. And we're doing supplemental commentary that's happening right in the middle of the normal commentary on this episode. This is a, a short film that we never finished, we made in college. I did all the animation and Pat rendered all the backgrounds for it. And this is the origin of Manish Man. And it's almost over. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, as you can see, he used to be like an amazing adventurer, just going through dungeons and breaking stuff. And that's why he deserves the Incaridian and is passing it to Finn. I think that skull was supposed to be saying some riddle, and Manish Man doesn't care, and he just chops his jaw off and smashes him apart. Now it's over. Now back to your normal commentary that's happening right now. Can I, can I? And there's like a crazy sound effect at the end of this. I remember that being like a big deal. You guys spent forever. Sound effect? Yeah, after he jumps in the air and says, Aw, oh yeah, there's like machine guns and screams. and Yeah, in the final mix, I asked for, for yeah, machine guns and people screaming. <laughs> but there was an idea for a while, like every time the card came out, you were doing like yeah. chainsaws and, and just bloody sounds of battle. Yeah, it would have happened right yeah. here. The heart and most righteous hero I've seen here. Tenderness, ingenuity, bravery, not kicking ability, and when you took that giant ogre's dollar, <laughs> oh man, the keeper nearly faded. <laughs> Me, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> hey, crack open that book and read something for fun's sake, all right? Oh, yeah. Whoa. How to kiss princesses? <laughs> Whoa, what'd you just read? Yeah, what does it say, Finn? Manish Man won't tell me. Hey, don't tell her, Finn. It doesn't say anything, Princess. Manish Man! Oh, uh, yeah! All right, that's it. Thanks. That must have been really boring to watch. Ah, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, don't man, even good. listen to this. You hear the process? Here, guys. <coughs> trying to remember trying to what remember they did. <laughs> the names of everyone who worked Claiming on it. Claiming all these crummy drawings. That was mine. <laughs> <laughs> I went to art school. I think the people <laughs> watching... I went to Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> See, I didn't know that one. That one's good. Yeah. We should, why don't we watch it backwards? <laughs> yep, this is it. Just rewind it. Mix it around. Yeah. <laughs> I saw one with John Carpenter and Kurt Russell, and they just started talking about baseball. And it was during, I forget what movie, but then they're just going on and on about their kids playing baseball. It was the most boring. <laughs> <laughs>